Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School. This is a video on writing formulas for binary ionic compounds. Um, we know from experience, right, that um, ionic compounds are made up of metals and nonmetals, and also that metals tend to lose electrons to form um, stable ions. Okay, and nonmetals tend to actually gain electrons. So they help each other out in this respect. Uh, one loses, one gains, and the metal ion, which is positive, is able to attract to the non-metal ion, which is negative, forming an ionic compound. Now, ionic compounds have this basic structure. In general, this is called a crystal lattice, and it's also known as a salt. And we said in class, um, NaCl, sodium chloride, table salt, is not the only salt. So for our purposes, all salts will be ionic. And here are some simple rules in order, if you have um, a metal and non-metal ions, and you, and you have to write the formulas, here are the simple rules right here. Um, the metal ion, or the positive ion, will always, always come first. Okay, the negative ion will be last. Okay, once again, um, we're moving on to the topic of bonding, but if you notice, you have to know your metals from your non-metals, so periodic table comes into play, and also we have to still review atomic structure. Um, what we're doing when we're doing the, um, writing these formulas, we're exchanging the amount of charge to the opposite subscript. So I'll explain it in, in later. And um, if possible, we reduce subscripts. All right. So here for examples, we have Ca2 plus and we have Cl minus. So all we have to do when we're doing this problem right here to get the correct um, formula is we take the two okay from the ca and we will place it over here at the subscript of the cl okay now if we just have a negative charge right here okay that's it's understood as one so we'll take that one and we'll place it at the subscript of the ca okay so we're making an exchange it's called the criss cross method and we wind up with the final answer of ca Cl2. Now, if the subscript is 1, you don't have to show it. It's understood. So that's your final answer for that guy right there. Um, for lithium bromide, we have lithium plus 1. Okay. And we have bromine, which is minus 1. So all you have to simply do is crisscross. You, you'll wind up with Li1Br1, right? But since you don't have to show the ones, your final answer would be simply LIBR after you crisscross. Okay. Now for this guy right here, Na plus and P3 minus, right? Positive and negative ions. Your final answer would be after crisscrossing. Okay, the three will go to the Na and the one would go to the P. You will get Na3P as your final answer okay now the reason why we're doing a crisscross method we are making sure the charges are balanced we have three minuses over here we have a plus one over here so the final formula is telling you that you need three of these NAs three of these NAs each of which is positive one each to go along with this P which is minus three so that balances the charges out and for the last one, we have SR strontium, okay, which is a 2 plus, so that 2 will go there, okay. And this 2 for the sulfur, sulfide ion, will go over here. So we'll get SR2, S2. But the thing is, we have 2s on both of them, right? So in this case, we are able to reduce. So the 2s will be cancelled out. And our final answer will be simply SRS. Okay, and you're done. All right, so this is a simple video, okay, simple presentation of how to write um, the formulas for binary ionic compounds. Okay, the metal ion always comes first. Okay, the non metal ion, the negative ion always comes last. And what you're doing, you're making sure that your charges are balanced, okay, and you're good to go. And so, take care, be well.